Super Tuesday was yesterday. Yeah. Was it not? Okay, so we saw what happened uh, in, in the great state uh, of Texas, and I'm just wondering, I mean, you, you've spoken passionately about Cuba and, and, and your feelings on, on the Castro regime, et cetera. Seeing Bernie Sanders, are you, are you gratified that, that Texas gave the vice president a big win, or would you rather have Donald Trump face Sanders because he might do better? Where are you on that? You got any comments on that? How, how do you look at it? It's like oh, enemy look, I, my enemy is. I don't know uh, how, to, how to view it. Uh, I'm certainly grateful that Texas didn't vote for Bernie. There are a lot of things Bernie embraces that I think are really wrong and really dangerous. And I, I serve with Bernie. He's a true believer, but but he is a socialist. And you mentioned Cuba. He has, for decades, gone out of his way to praise communist dictators, whether Fidel Castro, whether Maduro, whether, whether Chavez, whether Ortega, Nicaragua, whether the Soviet Union, whether, whether communist China. Um, it, you know, one of the things I did last month during the impeachment trial is, is I started a podcast. It, it, it's called Verdict with Ted Cruz. And, and it went from being non-existent to it became the number one ranked podcast in the world. We had, had over four and a half million downloads in, in just a few weeks. The latest episode of Verdict with Ted Cruz, I, I actually flew my aunt, my tia Sonia, from Dallas up to D.C. And I interviewed her because my, my tia Sonia was... was imprisoned and she was tortured by Castro's goons. She was there when the revolution happened. She fought in the counter-revolution against Castro. She saw the misery and poverty. And so the podcast, it's become one of our most downloaded podcasts because yeah. it's a chance to, to really listen to a firsthand story. And, and, and what Bernie is saying of, of Cuba as this yeah. socialist paradise is, is just utterly false. Yeah. Uh, as anyone who's lived through it could tell you. Like, unless you like those real, some of those cars are pretty cool. Those old, uh, you know, like a 56 uh, Ford or, or Chevy. But so what did you say? Did you say you'd rather have the president face tr uh, Bernie or you'd rather have uh, face President, uh, Vice President Biden? Uh, you know, but Bernie scares me. And the reason Bernie scares me, I, I know a lot of Republicans that are, that are celebrating every time Bernie wins, yay, let us run against Bernie, he's so extreme right. that, that, that Trump gets reelected. Right. The thing that scares me about, about Bernie is we're a divided win. country. There is I a chance you. this country could elect a wild-eyed socialist. And you want to see something that yeah. would do devastation to our economy, to people's lives. That worries me a great deal. I'd rather not even roll the dice. So personally, I'd rather Biden because he's at least... In terms of the Overton window, he's at least slightly closer to rational. He's still very liberal. I mean, I mean, what yep. qualifies right. as moderate in today's Democratic field is, right. it has moved he's dramatically from a few years ago. That's, uh, that, that's that, telling right there. Uh, okay. That's exactly right.